Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to take apart your i4i Gold Plus R4 card to access the NTR boot switch. So quite a few people think this is probably something quite difficult and they're a bit worried how they would take their R4 apart without damaging anything. So it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So the first thing you need to do is just remove any sort of micro SD card that you've got plugged in. Now if you have a look at the side of a card there should be like a slight notch here. What I like to do is just use one of my fingernails just to sort of kind of clip the case off like that. As you can see the case is now a part of it. Now what I like to do is just run my fingernail around the edges just to unclip it. As you can see you can go all the way around. Be very careful, don't pull anything. This is very fragile. Right, so I've got to a stage where I should, there you go. The front panel can now just come off easily like that. You can see the motherboard inside. Don't worry that it's the wrong way around. So now this piece should just fall out very easily like that. You can just move the case housing to the side. Now, if you look at the motherboard closely, you can actually see it's on the boot feature right now. So that is just for normal R4 DS games. So what you can do is you can actually move that switch across to the NTR option. So what I like to do, I just like to sort of get like a DS, 3DS pen, because I just find that a lot easier just to push the switch across. So as you can see it's there, I'm just going to push it across with the pen. Now you can see it is on NTR boot option. So now you can go ahead and follow the rest of the NTR boot hacks guide. Hopefully I will be able to do this guide eventually on YouTube. I will probably need to buy like a new 3DS or 2DS because I don't actually want to remove the custom firmware that I've currently got on my 3DS. Right guys, so putting the card back together is actually fairly easy. You want to start with this piece of housing. Just get this pit here and just overlap it on top. Just like that. It should just sit in there, no screws or anything. And now the top bit can just simply clip back on. Just literally lay it over where it's supposed to go and then just push it down to clip it back into place. You guys can just check it's down correctly. You can always just put it into a DS console, just make sure. And as you can see, it's perfect. Guys, so I will be leaving a link to this card in the description so you guys can buy one for NTR boot hacks. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.